If you were fortunate enough to pick up a MMAI Keys to the City NFT about two months ago, the day has finally arrived, right? With that Keys to the City NFT, you also got a bonus NFT that was a real property inside the metaverse that can actually be utilized uh, for a real world use case. I'm going to go into that in a minute. Also, there are updates for the uh, first person shooter game that they are developing uh, a new map to show you. So let's dive right into this one. Hello everyone, my name is Sean, I am the Cryptosmith. I do appreciate you coming back and checking out this video for MMAI. I cannot believe the day is here. Actually, the day was yesterday. Uh, it was supposed to be Friday. They were going to allow us to view or reveal which type of property that we got with our Keys to the City NFTs. Now that was supposed to happen, I don't know, around 9 a.m. Uh, uh, Pacific time. Uh, there was some technical difficulties. It had to be pushed back. So last night, so basically Saturday night, uh, they finally got all the bugs worked out and they got it connected and we were able to go and check out our NFTs and the properties that are associated with it. Now, these are just the types of properties that we received, not the actual specific location of the properties. And I'll tell you what, I was very, very excited because I couldn't wait to find out which types of properties I had access to in the future. And then I can make plans going forward. Do I want to try to trade for something different? Uh, do I want to maybe sell one or just utilize them all depending on what I got, obviously. Let's check out the Twitter space for MMAI. Here it is. You can now reveal your property types by connecting your wallet to our website. No fees are required for the NFT reveal. We can't wait to see what you got. Visit MMAIPure.com for more details. Now, this one here uh, is free, right? Because it's just a reveal. You're not actually minting anything on the blockchain. They're just showing you which random property you received. And then once uh, summertime comes around, I believe June, July, August, uh, somewhere in there, the blockchain is going to be released. And then they'll figure out how to get us the actual NFT on the blockchain, uh, either an airdrop or maybe we'll have to mint at that point and maybe it'll cost us some uh, some Ethereum in order to uh, pay for that minting. But nonetheless, obviously people were able to get out there and do it. Uh, here's just uh, a few, Lucius uh, Suspicious. Looks like he got a, a large booth, a mystery car, and a large ad billboard. Uh, it looks like he maybe got two large booths because he kind of scrolled through there. One, a stand ad as well. Yeah, it looks like two large booths. So did very well. That's pretty cool. Uh, MMAI, let's see, got this one, can't wait to start using it. So uh, Nobi Style got a large ad billboard. Very cool for that too. Now, Powergenics apparently had a few of these NFTs. Uh, three mystery cars, which is a, a car was one of the main things I wanted to get. Two medium stores, one small booth, an electronic building display, which is super cool. And then one ad stand. So now let's go check out to see what the old Crypto Smith ended up with with checking my NFTs. Now, it's kind of a funny story. I... Uh, I'm already connected to it, but I, I have four total and I did one just, I wanted to just make sure it actually worked. So I uh, revealed my first one and it was this ad billboard. So this large billboard advertising that's going to be, I think on the top of a building or maybe along the roadside. Uh, and that's going to be cool because as you can advertise there, you can also rent the billboard out for advertising, maybe make a little bit of passive income. Um, and this thing can play videos and it can rotate different ads for different people. Uh, as well. So I'm going to get, there's a lot of use case you can get out of that. But I was going to go ahead and just open up the other three on video or maybe on a live stream. But then a few minutes went by and I couldn't, I got a little excited. And so I actually went over to this one here and I got a second one. And then I said, oh, you know what? Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to reveal the last two on my video. And then about an hour went by and I was on uh, the Twitter space and watching everybody, uh, you know, kind of drop what which properties they were getting. Everybody was excited. So I came back upstairs, got on the old computer and uh, revealed the other two. And this one was a stand ad. That was my number three. So advertising pieces all around, which is totally cool. Uh, two billboards, uh, which means I can keep one and then possibly trade this for a different type of property if I want, or maybe sell it at some point down the road. But a lot of options there, and I like that. And then the stand ad is a very good advertising piece because it's four-sided. You could literally have four different ads playing on this thing at the same time, or uh, one company could pay just to have take up all the ad space. Uh, like I said, there's options there, which I like. That means possible uh, passive income uh, in the future for myself. 
And then the last one, and I was like, oh, thank you. I got a mystery car, and I was super stoked about that. Why am I excited about a mystery car? Now, these other items obviously are very useful. But the mystery car, and I've explained this before, like they're, you're going to be able to get popped into the metaverse, right? But you're not going to go exactly to where you're looking to go, right? So you're going to materialize in, in some area or another. I'm sure there's multiple different places, but you're probably going to have to walk you know, your avatar, your character inside this metaverse, you're going to have to walk or run uh, to get to where it is you're going. And it could be blocks away, right? It could take you several minutes, you know, I don't mean that's not that much time or longer to get to your destination, what you're looking to do. If you have a car, get your car, you drive, you get around the city, right? You haul ass, you do whatever, you, you, you create mayhem. Uh, maybe you run into people. I don't know really how this is going to work. Uh, but also you have the opportunity to take that car. If it's a particular type of car, obviously, and race it on the racetrack that's going to be inside the metaverse. There's going to be a raceway where you'll be able to race uh, for tokens or I guess for pink slips if you wanted to do something like that. I, these guys are kind of expensive, so I don't know that I'm, I'm just going to risk uh, my car uh, in a race. That doesn't seem uh, like something I would do, but I know people out there will do it especially if you're very confident on the speed and agility of the vehicle that you received. Plus, you can go to the car shop there, wherever this is, and upgrade your vehicle as well, different tires, uh, new skin on it, uh, faster you know, motor, all that kind of cool stuff. So that's why I was very excited to get a car. So I got the car, not doing anything with that. I'm keeping that one for sure. Uh, these other three, I have options. Uh, I can try to make a little passive income. Uh, or I could sell or trade or do whatever it is I want with them. Super, super excited. <clears throat> so if you're watching this video and you had a Keys to the City NFT and you were able to reveal what you got, let me know down in the comments what property you received. Are you excited about it? Do you maybe want to trade uh, for something else? I don't know really what else I would get. I don't think I need an office space. Uh, you know, convention center display would be kind of cool. I'm not sure how I would use it. Uh, I think maybe a store, if somebody has a store, maybe a small or medium store, I might be willing to figure out what I want to uh, sell inside a metaverse uh, marketplace. So anyway, that is that. Finally, we're able to see the types of properties we got. Super excited. We're not going to be able to see these specific locations until the blockchain drops, which is this summer. And it's going to be, like I said, June, July, maybe August. It gets pushed back. Uh, you know, these things are obviously very technical and complex, and I know they're working on them currently. Uh, they did say June initially, but I'm going to give them some extra time because things happen, right? So we'll say hopefully summertime. Uh, we're looking at blockchain. Uh, we're looking at uh, turning your tokens into a coin. Uh, you're going to be able to mine on their smart mining uh, portion of the blockchain, which that also is really uh, interesting. I'm, I'm anxious to learn a little bit more about that and how that is going to work. Uh, they've got the wallet coming out, the cold storage wallet, the offline payment capabilities, uh, and then of course the metaverse, which they're going to you're going to be able to go in, set up your advertiser here, this uh, billboard, let's say, uh, and let them know this is what I want to put on it. Uh, this is how I want it to look. Here's some graphics, whatever. And then they're going to be able to program it for you or say, hey, I've got four different companies that are paying me. They want to rotate ads uh, on this thing or play a video or whatever it is, right? There's a lot of different things you can do. So now let's get into the first person shooter game. And I, technically, I think it's a third person shooter, uh, but uh, who cares? It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the video and you can see this new map that was created. Uh, there's different guns now or different weapons that you can choose. Uh, so it really, really is looking very, very good. Uh, and what other game can you go out there, play this first or third person shooter uh, and actually earn tokens while you're on the blockchain? That is something that is coming down the pike as well uh, with with the blockchain when it drops. Looking forward to that. So let's check out some of the uh, some of the gameplay here real quick. And... I mean, everything looks super smooth. I don't know what to tell you. This this game looks fantastic. It's definitely a game I would play. I you know I'm I'm a bit older, you know, part of the older crowd, but I do like to play these types of games. So I'm definitely going to be in there mixing it up with everybody else. All right, that's enough of that one. And here is another quick video. Pure Soldier uh, isn't necessarily going to be the name of the game. I don't think anything official has been 
uh, decided on that, but it was just a cool uh, clip somebody put together. Uh, so anyway, that's my update for you for today. We finally got to see which types of properties uh, we're able to mint or we're going to mint in the future. Uh, they're just revealed to us today. And again, I got two large billboards and a stand ad, which is four-sided. And then, of course, the all-important mystery car. So I don't have to walk my happy ass all over the metaverse. I can get in and drive. Hopefully, it's not a dump truck. I know that's the going joke. Uh, and, and it's something a little bit faster. Maybe it's a taxi and I'll, I'll be able to uh, uh, earn cab fares, you know, driving people uh, where they need to go. So that's it for the update. If you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, it does help my channel grow. That's the entire reason I'm here. And I will see you all next time.